Hello, everybody. Good old Baron Bananas here again. I know my first thing that showed up said I'd be playing Jurassic Park, but the minute I loaded the thing up, I had the bitrate issue. Again. So I canceled before anything happened. And, well, here we are. Okay, I don't know why you're not picking it up right now. Anyway, as you can see, I decided to go with my initial plan, and that was to play some... Uh, play, uh, Doki Doki Blue Skies. Where the hell? Why is he not showing up? I'm gonna have to do a window capture now, aren't I? Because when you're there... Eh, yeah, sorry if this is, you know, as usual, scuff. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so... Now to just do what I did. Just got a tiny bit of finagling. Oh, wrong button. Shift. Yes, it was. Perfect. So, I'm just gonna... Eliminate that. So, yeah, uh... I've decided to play Doki Doki Blue Skies. I'm sure by now most of you know about Doki Doki Literature Club, the wonderfully free visual novel that turned into a uh, psychological horror at the <laughs> toward the end. Yeah, this isn't that. <laughs> this was uh, a actually very highly anticipated mod that came out uh, during the summer of last this last year this year something like that summer that just passed this came out and uh, I played through a good bit of it and I was enjoying it it's actually because of this mod that I ended up wanting to play Katawa Shoujo in the end because they say, they actually, the people that made this said, uh, Katawa Shoujo inspires this mod. What exactly does that mean? Well, uh, I mean, we'll play it and you might be able to see where they're coming from. Once again, I apologize about Jurassic Park not wanting to cooperate. I don't know why. Maybe it's because there's someone else in the house and there, there's like more people in the house right now, maybe. I don't know. Oh well. Just my Wi-Fi being stupid. So it doesn't want to run games properly. Oh well. I at the very least know this is going fine. I mean, I'm only on, you know, their quote-unquote warning screen. And my bitrate is holding steady. And there's nothing, you know, crazy in this mod. No crazy animations or whatnot. It's all just standard visual novel fare. Here's a still picture. Here's another still picture. Text. And let me know throughout... Uh, how the volume is for this, because I just have it set to... Do I have it set for... What do I have it actually... Set? Yeah, I have it set to what I usually set uh, Katawa Shoujo to. I don't know if that will be good for this one or not. Just let me know as we go. I'll try to monitor it on my end as well as I can. But yeah, you know how that goes. You can't really tell too much from just the bars that are down there. You don't know how exactly how that sounds. Especially when I have my gain on my mic right now as well, so I'm a little louder than I appear on the on my sound levels. And once again you can see I made my wonderful banner. <laughs> I got the logo for the game with the girls art up top and then I got the girls on the left. I didn't go through the trouble of, you know, uh, doing the whole grayed out thing, but what I did do, however, 
as simple as it may be, that. I got them I got the cheering ones they have from the mini from the poem mini game. That'll be what I symbolize to be what whose route I'm on. Which yes, that's the thing. Routes are a thing in this game. I mean there were technically routes in uh original Doki Doki, but not really. I mean, we all know how that went. So ah, I think that's enough delay for now. Let's uh, yeah, let's just get into this. Get into some Doki Doki Blue Skies. Obviously, Doki Doki Blue Skies is a Doki Doki Literature Club fan mod that is not affiliated with Team Salvato. There's their legal things like. This is just a mod, guys. This is not made by the original team. It is not official. This is for fun. It is designed to be played only after the official game has been completed and contains spoilers for the official game. Yes, that is also a thing. You, you kind of have to have played the original Doki Doki to sort of play this. Only in the fact of uh, characterization, understanding where that stuff comes from, maybe the s sneaky little references to the first game, and plus the very beginning kind of opens up with a semi-spoiler. But then after that, it doesn't matter. Game files for DDLC are required to play th this mod and can be downloaded for free at ddlc.moe or from Steam. I got mine straight from ddlc.moe, because why not? Uh, it does. It really does not matter. It'll work either way. I just felt like downloading directly from the source. Just cause. By playing Doki Doki Blue Skies, you agree that you have completed DDLC. So yeah, here's just the, uh... Here's your last chance. If you didn't play the original game, get rid of this mod, play the original game. After you click Agree, they're at no uh, fault for spoiling the original game for you. Lastly, this mod contains not safe for content, including nudity, which can be turned off in the settings. So, settings is where we're going to have to go right away. Well, thanks for the follow. Yeah, just uh, let me know about the sound. I feel like it might be a bit low. This interests you? You're a DDLC modder? Cool. How's the sound right now of the actual game going? I feel like it's way too low compared to my voice. I never actually went through the sound thing for this, unlike every other game I've played. I feel like that's loud, because that's really showing up on my uh, sound bar. First off, we're going to censor nudity. Mod DDLC? Cool, cool. Thanks, I kind of do this for a lot of games. I just kind of throw a background in there, grab some, try to grab some official or fan art, Most try to grab official stuff if I can, throw it up top and at the side, for the fun of it. It just looks better than uh, if I were to turn it all off and then that's just all black squares of nothingness. Dude, this is really not a stream overlay. This is literally just pictures. I have so many image sources. A lot. I'll just turn off all of those. And then I'll turn off the banner. <laughs> and then I just turn off that. This is what it normally is. This is my this is the overlay how it normally is. I literally just do 
<laughs> image sourcing. I just have this all saved on my computer, and then I just brought it into this. <laughs> you could do it, man. It's it's not a man, woman, whichever you prefer to be called. Just you just gotta take the time. That's all. It's it. No matter how long it takes you, you can do it. I, I'm telling you, you can do it. If you're doing uh, using Streamlabs OBS like me, you just do add source and then image and then just pick the image. Your streaming OSU would be like webcam and game. I mean, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that at all. There's nothing wrong with it. Plenty of people just do stuff like that. Just their face and game. Hell, that's what I initially did I just I literally had the game full screened and then my you know webcam here in the corner I just changed it up because I felt like I needed a change well, seriously just, you just take like a if you got to take a day or two or however long just fiddle around with it. Play with things. If you're not 100% satisfied with how your thing looks, just yeah, just take just take the time. Take the time, and if you're happy for it, if you're happy with it, go with it. Doing this for a year. Yeah, if you feel like you want to change something up, go for it. There's not there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone needs to. Everyone can change things up every now and again. I change things a little too quickly sometimes, but that's just me. I'm going to turn this up just a little more. Past broadcast 46 seconds. You talking about mine? Because if that was mine, yeah, that was me attempting to start a game and my bitrate was going nuts. That's just an issue I'm having. My internet is not the greatest. Yeah, my internet isn't that great. Some games just even sitting on the menu screen causes the bitrate to bottom out and disconnect. The minute I saw that happening, I just stopped the stream and swapped to this. Because I know for a fact that this will be fine. Oh man, I'm not even kidding. I'm lit I was literally on a menu screen. Like the game started, opened. I'm sitting at the menu, and I'm watching my bitrate go from 3,000 to 400 to 2,000 to zero. It's just, oh, I've dealt with it way too many times in the past few weeks. So when I see that happening, it's like, yep, gotta stop what I'm doing right now. Like, I just can't handle it. But I can handle visual novels, no problem. Because they're simpler. Also, Stardew Valley for some reason. <laughs> Whatever. I enjoy Stardew, and I enjoy Kadoa, and I'm, I know I haven't enjoyed Duh, Blue Skies. But it's been a little bit since I played it. I even deleted everything, so once again, I am starting fresh. So I won't know what I've actually done, and I can't remember exactly what I've done. Hence why I don't put a uh, first playthrough tag on here, because it's not a first playthrough. Most games I play on here haven't been first playthroughs yet. <laughs> uh, it's not one of my main games. This is just something I'm starting to play today. Because it's something I had on, I have on hand. 
that I know will run. I only started streaming like a few months ago. So I figured I'd just uh, start, start off by playing things I have played so I know what to expect in general. Mostly for Twitch stuff. <laughs> DDLC is your mainstream. DDLC and Mo Osu? Nice. I haven't played Osu. That's a rhythm game, right? Please say I'm right on that. <laughs> okay, good. I'd be awful at it. I'm terrible at rhythm games. Click circles to beat. Yeah, in all honesty, I am uh I am on so terrible at rhythm games. I mean terrible. <laughs> Band. Ah, yeah, that might be a bad idea. So, yep, that we have that off. We're going to keep that on, at least for the first playthrough of this. Having a bad day right now? Ah, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, hopefully, it, hopefully your day ends off on a better note. Haven't even played 1% of the game. <laughs> Ah, still have the spoiler thing on here. You're just talking about OBS stuff. <laughs> All right. I do say, if you want to change up a stream la your stream layout in some way, sometimes you stream on the phone. I have not done that yet. I haven't tried to use a phone for streaming. Just bad, because I just, I don't know. I, I trust my computer a lot more than I trust my phone for something like that. Yeah, if you ever get to change up the stream layout, no. Oh. Thanks for the host. Yeah, if you ever get to change up a stream layout, on a computer at least, from what I... Jesus, I, what am I doing? I'm just destroying this damn thing. There we go. Yeah, if you're going to change up a stream layout on uh, a computer, because I don't know about phones, it's not too difficult. I'm a dumbass when it comes to this stuff, so... Yeah, if I can do it, I'm sure you could do it. Because <laughs> I am pretty dumb. On phone, it's just the game. Yeah, that makes sense. It would just be the game and or your face. Depending on how that's set up. I have no idea how streaming on a phone works. Ah, okay. Just see the gameplay. All right, well, anyway, we're going to actually finally get into this bad boy. There he's got to go because it's late night here. All right. You know what? Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the follow and everything. I hope I hope uh, you have a much better day after you uh, wake up in the next, on your next actual day. Y you know what I'm trying to say. I hope you have a better day than you did today. Volume for the game where it is for now. 
actually let's turn it up a bit more. Let's go with that. All right. All right. Well, wow. It's already been like a half, almost a half hour since I started the stream, and I haven't even played the game yet. Damn. I get on tangents with people. When, they, if, when we just start talking, I lose track. <laughs> oh well. Here for good times anyway. Alrighty, let's start up Doki Doki Blue Skies. And now I just realized the minute I play this, uh, start this, I'm gonna have to come up with more freaking voices. Shit. <laughs> Ugh. Whatever. Voice acting is not my thing, but I'm making it my thing, apparently. Please enter your name. Uh, do I have cap locks on? Of course I have cap locks on. Name is Baron. What's this? This shouldn't be possible. Why am I here? How am I here? Did you bring me back? I... I don't see any other explanation. Why? We've already established that there's no happiness here. So why? Huh? Why can't I look at the script? Something's wrong. You didn't do anything, did you? Don't you understand? Are you trying to mess up even more? Or mess things up even more? God damn it. Already! Well, it's not a stream if I don't fuck up the lines. How did you... Wait. I know. You've installed a mod, haven't you? That's why everything's been changed. Don't you think it's time to let us all go? What? You want everything to be like how it should have been? But... really care about them, don't you? I wish... Never mind. If you really want to do it, I won't stop you. I've been fighting to take control of this game again, but if you want to play through the mod, then... Well... I'll succumb to the mod's control. So... Do you want me to allow the mod's activation? Sorry, Monica. Also, there's your spoiler for the end of DDLC. She knows that it's a game. <laughs> I knew it. Baron, or whatever your name actually is, I truly hope that you can find happiness with your choice. Alright, yeah, there we go. That was Monica, and I guess I picked my Monica voice. Let's see how long that lasts. Ah. <sighs> I lay in bed, motionless, and stare up at the blank white ceiling. Last night was dreadful. The sound of thunder kept me up for hours. But today's another day, I guess. Let's just hope that it's at, le at least a bit better. 
With another sigh, I begrudgingly drag myself out of bed and groggily begin the monotony of my daily routine. Make my way to the kitchen, I haphazardly rummage through the cupboards, looking for something to eat. Unfortunately, there's no tasty homemade breakfast awaiting me. Ever since my parents' divorce, I've just been living off whatever I find in the kitchen. I live with my mom, but she's always taking business trips abroad. So, for the most part, it's pretty much just me at home. It's lonely, but I manage. Although I do miss the smell of bacon and eggs in the morning. Breakfast used to be a family thing. Dad would read the newspaper at the kitchen table, while Mom would stand at the stove and fry, fry up her famous sunny-side eggs. But all that feels like a long-forgotten memory. Well, at least breakfast is sorted. A calorie bird. Yeah, no copy right here. It's definitely not a calorie, mate. <laughs> I've tried a calorie, mate, once. When I went to Japan, I bought a thing. It's got two bars of it, if I remember correctly, inside the box. Yeah, they're literally just a grab it and eat it if you need a quick breakfast kind of thing. The taste is not that great. It just has what you need. But I figured, hey, why not? I'm here in Japan. Might as well try some calorie, mate. One of the many things I tried there, including multiple convenience store sandwiches, <laughs> which were really goddamn good. I'm going to tell you that right now. Not exactly the best start to the day, but it'll do. I do my own shopping, since Mom's never home, but I usually stick to buying the bare necessities. The ease of using pre-made stuff has pretty much sapped me of my urge to cook meals for myself. And I've fallen into the college trap. And with my food quickly finished, I head for the door. At the very least, the weather looks much better than yesterday's. Clear skies beat thunderstorms any day of the week. I'm still lost in my thoughts when I've noticed a familiar face. It's Sayori. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm showing up good. We have quite a history together. As children, we were basically inseparable. Always exploring, getting up to mischief, driving our parents wild. Typical things that young children do, really. As time went on, especially in recent years, we started slowly drifting apart. In fact, I haven't properly spoken to her in a long time. It's a real shame. After all, we've shared a lot of fond memories with each other. I'm surprised to see her up so early, though. A couple times I've glanced out the classroom window only to see her hurriedly walking along to school. We used to walk to school together, and although she was sometimes a little late to meet me, I never really minded. As we continue to drift apart, however, her lack of punctuality became more frequent, and I just decided it'd be better if I walked to school alone. Which meant that although I did get to school on time more often, it was quite lonely. Knowing her, she's probably just gotten more and more lazy with time. After all, her dedication to sleeping in sometimes see ah, sleeping in seems to be unwavering. Oh well. Still, I've always enjoyed talking to her. Hey Sayori, haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? She looks a little surprised at my appearance in question. I suppose I can't blame her. 
Okay, uh, Sayori voice. Sayori voice. What kind of voice do I want to use for Sayori now? Ah, uh, goddammit. I got too- I got too many characters I need to voice already again. Jeez. Stalin, on the second character I have to voice that isn't myself. Okay, turn that down for myself. Thank God these headphones have volume control. Oh, oh, hey, Baron. I wasn't expecting to see you. That makes two of us. You're up early today. <laughs> she laughed softly, a misplaced looking frown on her face. I've been alright, though. Not a whole lot has changed recently, you know? Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Life's been pretty routine these days. School's kinda... meh. Although I could be... although it could be worse. She nods as we both resume the walk to school. Although I can talk to her just fine, there's still an awkward air between us. I guess that's a given, seeing as this is our first proper conversation together in a long time. As we carry on making idle small talk, a sudden thought hits me. Anyway, this might come across as a bit out of the blue, but seeing as you, so seeing you here is giving me an idea. Oh? Well, it's been a while since we walked to school together. How about we start doing that again? Eh, uh, do you really want to do that? I'm not very fun to talk to, and I'm always late. I frown. It's really strange to hear Sayori say this, given I've always known her to have a bubbly, cheerful personality. Sayori, that's definitely not true. Well, the bit about always being late is true. I've always loved hanging out with you, and I think we'd have a lot of fun again. Besides, I've missed you. I'll even help you wake up on time if you need me to. Is that a bit too forward? I don't know. I've never been in this sort of si sort of situation before. Damn knows. I mean, we are childhood friends after all, right? Really? Yeah, really. I've missed you too, Baron. Well, let's do it then. From now on, we'll walk to school together, okay? Okay. Ah, there it is. That classic Sayori smile I grew up loving. All the memories I have of us together as children feature that smile. No matter where we ventured, parks, playgrounds, forests, that smile would follow. That innocent, childlike sense of adventure we used to have. It's painfully clear that that's long gone. But maybe we can still smile together anyway. So, what have you been up to lately? Ah, you know, the usual. Hmm, you mean games, anime, and manga, right? It's official. We are a weeb. Yep, pretty much goes without saying. Oh, Baron, you haven't changed. <laughs> are you saying that you think I need some change? No one's perfect. There's always room for improvement. 
Especially in your case. I'm guessing you're still part of the Go Home Club? Hey, that cuts a little deep. What do you want me to do? Join the soccer club and trip over everyone? Well, I think a little exercise is good for anyone. I'm very offended if you're trying to call me fat right now. <laughs> well, you don't have to join a sports club if you don't want to. Yeah, I was actually thinking of checking out the... Anime club. Wow, how'd you guess? It does suit my hobbies, though, so... Baron, you should try branching out a bit more. Okay, Miss Club Expert. If you're gonna criticize all my club choices, what would you suggest? Well, it just so happens that, the, uh, that there's this club I'm in. Oh, really? Yeah! I'm actually the vice president. Wow. I did not expect that. Dang. So you get to take part in all the executive decisions, huh? Uh, <laughs> kind of. The club kinda only has four members at the moment. But it's really fun! We're actually looking for new members right now. Ah, uh, so that's why she brought it up. Only four members? Sounds like you guys are just starting out then. What club is it anyway? It's the school's very own literature club! I unintentionally let out a sigh. Her face drops. I don't think that was quite the reaction she was hoping for. Come on, get all jazzed for the lit club! Get lit, fam! In my defense, Literature has never quite captured my interest. Unless you count manga as literature, that is. Manga is literature. I knew it. You don't want to join. I understand, though. Not many people like reading. Hey, who said I didn't like to read? I love reading, if you count, uh... Manga. I muttered the last word more to myself than to Sayori. On the plus side, Sayori laughs at my sheepishness. <laughs> you sound like someone I know from the literature club. She talks about manga all the time. Oh, really? I am actually interested in your club, though. Sayori smiles, seemingly content that I'm showing initiative. If I'm looking for a club to join, I guess the literature club is as good a place to start. Good as any place. Uh, a good place to start as any. God I already. God damn it! I said it three different ways. I should make a Baron, uh, you know, miss. Uh, uh, reads the line wrong counter. Then again, I think we'd break it. After like two streams. That's great! You should come by sometime! And by sometime? You're hoping for today, aren't you? <laughs> the sooner the better. Alright, I'll have a look after school today. Yeah! Thanks, Baron! Although we should... Uh, oh, sorry, that's me speaking. Yeah, this is going to be odd to remember to do, because, oh my god, just thinking back. All the characters in Kadawa Shoujo have colored voice lines. No wonder it was so easy to not screw up who was speaking. Good lord. How am I only just now realizing this? Oh, 
although, uh, although we should probably hurry up. Don't want to be late now, do we? Yeah, you're right. Within a few minutes, we've arrived at the school entrance amidst a crowd of chattering students. We wave goodbye as we head off to our separate classes. I have Sakurai in the morning, so I'm fairly confident that the next hour or so won't be too bad. Who's Sakurai, you might ask? Now we're going to get into some mod original characters. Just to help flesh out this world a little more. Only one of the coolest, most down-to-earth teachers we have in the whole school. Being on the young side himself, the experience of high school is much fresher in his mind than some of the other teachers, especially the older ones. He gives me a smile as I open the door. What kind of voice do I want to give Sakurai? Hey, sweaters. It's not regular Doki Doki, though, sweaters, just so you know. This is a mod. There's none of the psychological horror in it. It's a mod that makes it similar in the creator's words to uh, Katawa Shoujo. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not lying to you. I played this first initially, and that got me to play Katawa Shoujo, because I wanted to see what that was like. So there's no girls randomly killing each other just for the jump scare. There's none of that. But if you still don't want to stay, that's fine. No judgment. Stay a little bit? Okay. What the hell kind of voice do I want to give him? It's like the only other male character in this whole damn game. Eh, I might just use my regular voice too. I don't know. <laughs> I jump into these games without a plan in mind for voices every time. <laughs> Morning, Baron. How are we doing today? Not bad, sir. Same old, same old. How about you? Well, we're finally starting our module in the 20th century 20th century history today, so needless to say, I'm excited. Oh yeah? First World War, Nazism, Second World War, that stuff? You bet. I've waited all year for this to start. Oh man, you guys are in for a real treat. There's something else I really admire about him. Or that's something else. He's so enthusiastic about his subject, and that enthusiasm really makes learning about history that much more enjoyable. Combined with the fact he, that he's fairly relaxed, especially when it comes to homework, you can really see why he's popular. Although he does have a strict side, of course. That side of him comes to light every now and again, so he isn't a pushover. I'm also just gonna quick, just to throw a save, because it's always good to have a save. I'm almost out of tea already, damn it. <laughs> I need to have a freaking Keurig in my room or something. By and large, he's earned the respect of his students by striking the balance just right. I just wish that all of my teachers were as friendly and made efforts to know their students better. Ah, well. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a thing. They decided to say, yeah, we're inspired by Katawa Shoujo, so, um... We're going to have one of them cameo. 
but it's not that specific uh, character. No, it's just someone that looks like them, has the same personality and name. It's just a fun reference. I take a seat, and one of my classmates, Emmy, smiles and waves. Bouncy and energetic, she has a reputation for her skills on the track field. Even when she isn't running, she's still pretty much a ball of energy. Yep, that's... that's Emmy, all right. <laughs> yep, it's just a Doki Doki f a variant of Emmy from Katawa Shoujo. She just exists in this world. <laughs> Which I think is hilarious. Damn it, now I gotta pull up the Emmy voice. What do I do? I, oh, god damn it. How did I do Emmys? I did this like two days ago and I still I can't even remember how I did it on my own freaking voices. <laughs> oh well. Hey ya! We have one of those odd friendships where we get along well in class, but don't really see each other outside of school. How you doing, Emmy? Training was really fun today, Baron. Oh? She's always on the hunt for new recruits to join the track team, and she has a habit of dropping some... not-so-subtle hints. God damn it. This is- it's literally just Emmy. <laughs> if she had a bottom of her sprite, I'm sure she would have, uh, you know, her striped stockings. Yeah, we're always looking for new people, and I know you aren't part of any club, so you should totally join us. It's funny you mentioned they're not part of any clubs, actually. Hmm? I think I'm gonna check out the literature club after school. <laughs> I didn't really think you were the poetic type. But if you ever get bored of writing poems, you know where to find me. Jesus, what happened there? How many times do I have to tell you that... Alright guys, let's make a start. What the hell does that even mean? <laughs> let's make a start? What? <laughs> it's almost criminal that I've had to wait so long to teach my favorite century. Well, that's the school's lessons over. As I linger behind in the classroom to gather up all my things, I hear the door open. It's Sayori. Hi again, Baron. Hey. Literature, literature club's meeting's today, right? Yeah, it is. I just... I was just headed there now. You still want to come along? You betcha. Siori seems to perk up, looking excited that I still want to come along to the club. Also, how's the volume of the game compared to me, Sweaters? I haven't really had time to adjust it much. So I don't know if I'm too loud, it's too quiet, or what. Look at you! Finally doing some extracurriculars! I mean, if you're the vice president, it can't be all that bad, right? She giggles, making me smile. Each individual club member makes it special. Everyone works hard to have fun together. Well, let's not keep them waiting. It'd be rude to show up late. I want to make a good first impression, after all. Uh, I guess you're right. Come on, it's right this way and up the stairs at the end. They follow Sayori down the hallway. She seems excited, and it's nice to know that I'm making your day at least a little bit better. The 
stairs lead up to a section of the school that I recognize as the third year's wing. Siori leads me to a classroom and knocks on the door. Trust me, you're gonna love it! She's definitely enthusiastic about this club, that's for sure. After a seemingly long wait, the door finally slides open. Oh, yeah, there's, there's Natsuki. A small pink-haired girl peeks out. Damn it, now I gotta come up with a Natsuki voice. Uh, I don't know, pinch my nose and talk? <laughs> God, what have I done to myself? Uh, Jesus, I. This is gonna be awful. I've only got, I've got like no good voices. I got nothing. I don't know what to do. Help me! Help me! I need help. <laughs> I don't even think I can do a nasally voice. I don't even know what that sounds like. Ah, oh, good lord. Good lord. Good lord. I don't even know what to do now. Don't mind me fiddling with whatever the hell I have on my desk. I don't know what I've tried to use it to think. <laughs> She's supposed to be younger, so somehow I have to make my voice even higher. Oh my god. Definitely, lo at least looks the youngest out of them all. Um, hum, 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 hum. I don't know. I'm gonna try and go with something, and then eventually I'll probably change it. I have no idea. I got two more days of this after this as well. Oh my god. What have I done to myself? <laughs> what have I done to myself? I'll go with that. I'll go with a weird voice like this, I guess? Sure. This'll be Natsuki. Because I don't know how to do any kind of voices. I just, I don't know, I make random noises now. Have fun clipping that. <laughs> she peeks out further. Now I've forgotten how I did Sayori already. Oh, good lord. I think it's just like a modified Emmy voice I do. <laughs> oh my god. I'm blanking. Oh, 
on. I'm going to be right back. I need to make some more tea and clear my head. So, I apologize.
and I'm back. Sorry. I just need to step away, make a tea, and uh, maybe I might be able to figure this out. I'll just let that cool down while I continue. Hey, Natsuki! Guess what? I found someone who wants to join our club! The girl, who is apparently called Natsuki, slowly turns to glare at me and, narrow, and narrows her eyes. She opens the door fully, and behind her, I see another girl sitting at a desk, her face buried in a book. What? Hey, wait, Sayori! Sayori practically pushes Natsuki out of the way. She seems excited to introduce me to the rest of the club members. I feel so bad for giving Natsuki such an awful voice. I am so sorry, Natsuki. Forgive me. <laughs> hey guys, I want to introduce you to our newest member, Baron! Uh, Sayori, hold up! It's a bit quick to call me a new member, isn't it? Then I notice a third girl peek out from behind a bookshelf in the corner of the classroom. Can it be... Is that Monica? Monica is one of the most popular girls of this high school. Everyone seems to flock to her because she's smart, beautiful, athletic. You name it, she's got it. Unfortunately, this also means she's completely out of my league. She looks at me first with a stern look, but then quickly lights up, puts down the book she's holding, and rushes over. Let's get a forewarn now. They changed Monica's sprite to be more in line with the other girls, i.e. not looking directly at you. So it might be a little jarring if you're used to uh, Monica just staring right at you the whole time, front-facing. Takes a little bit of getting used to, but, uh, yeah, you just kind of get used to it after a while. There, now it's side-facing Monica. You just kind of get used to it. I mean, it's not bad, in all honesty. She does now match the rest of the girls without her just being, you know, straight ahead, always staring. Never looking away. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, now she's just a regular girl. <laughs> ah, Baron. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. A girl who has her face buried in her book suddenly jolts up and looks right at me. She quickly snaps her book shut and timidly moves to join the conversation. And now I gotta come up with a frickin' voice for Yuri. God damn it. Oh, a, a new member? My name's Yuri. Y yeah. Holy crap, it seems that I've somehow lucked out. Not only is Monica in this club, but also a bunch of other cute girls. God damn it. Damn it, Baron. MC Baron, not me, Baron. <laughs> now I'm a caveman, apparently. <laughs> me, Baron, me want banana. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, God damn it. No, what have I done? <laughs> Am I glad I decided to come here instead of the anime club today? Yeah, d yeah, now you're not a goddamn weeb. Completely. I mean, you're still a weeb, but now you're not, you know, really a weeb. <laughs> but enough gawking, Baron. Stop staring and start talking. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Yuri. Like Sayori said, I'm Baron. I smile at her, then turn to Monica. 
So, it sounds like you already know Monica? Is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Baron. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. It's kind of strange to say, but having her smile at me so genuinely makes me feel a bit starstruck. Powers of a school idol. You too, Monica. So you guys run a club with just the four of you then, huh? Sayori, Sayori told me about how you were looking for new members. <laughs> well, I've actually been trying to push for more members for a while, but we haven't had any luck recently. Ah, uh, Sayori did say... My words dry up in my mouth as Natsuki shoots me a piercing glare. She looks pissed at me. For what reason, I don't know. I haven't really had a chance to do much besides walk in and say hello. <laughs> yeah, sorry anyone that wanted to be the, a female MC. You're still a you're still a boy in this one. I know there are mods that mi that let you kind of choose whether you're male or female. This one unfortunately is not. Sayori, you brought a boy! Yep. He told me he wanted to join just this morning. Not sure if it's just Sayori being an airhead again, but I don't recall promising that I'd join. Ugh. Great. Natsuki glowers at us, folding her arms with an irritated huff. I don't really get why, though. <laughs> Sorry about Natsuki. That's just how she is. She's a little... standoffish to new members. Oh, it's nothing. I don't mind. Hey! I'm right here, you know! <laughs> sorry, sorry. Got to try and make a good impression, though. Come on, Natsuki! We need new members! If you don't feel like being nice to Baron, can you at least be nice for me? Please? Jeez, why it makes such a big deal out of it? Fine, fine. If you're gonna beg, I guess I have no choice. Hooray! Thanks, Natsuki. Looks like I know who the Sundere of the group is now. It's almost comical, the extent to which Natsuki fits that trope. Well, maybe my view of the world is just clouded by anime influences, though. Anyway, let's get this conversation back on track. <laughs> How'd you come to learn about the Literature Club, Baron? I'll have to admit, I'm a bit curious about that myself. Uh, Sayori and I were just walking to school when she mentioned this club to me. Since I was sorta of looking for a club to join, I figured that I should check you guys out. Yes, just check checking you guys out as in the club, not anything else. Goddamn pervert. At any rate, Sayori was really enthusiastic about the literature club, so... Monica beams at Sayori when she hears this. Guess Sayori has done a good job of, of a good job at advertising for the club. Jesus Christ. Can I not speak properly? Is it possible? Am I able to go uh, ten minutes without flubbing my words? No? Okay then, moving on. I see. Well, I think it's a, this is a great place to start. After all, books can be very enticing. Yeah, it's super fun! 
I think the club is the only place where I've been able to feel comfortable lately. Sayori's face falls for a moment, but she quickly picks herself back up. It's somewhere I can just sit and read while hanging out with friends. I think they've summed up the club pretty well. After all, yeah, I started it to bring together like-minded people who love literature. I'm really happy with how it's turned out so far. It's very cozy. But enough introductions. Why don't you come in and take a seat, Baron? Did you bring anything to read? As she asked that, I realize I'm not much of a reader, much less someone who loves literature. To be honest, I haven't thought this through very well. Huh, sounds like every one of my streams where I play a visual novel. I didn't think this out far enough. And now I gotta voice a million characters. Would joining a club that focuses on reading really be the best thing for me? Oh, uh, no, I don't really have any books on me at the moment. I just, I just haven't seen any good titles recently. I lie through my teeth, hoping Monica doesn't see through my facade. I obviously don't read much, but if they believe that I do, hopefully it'll help me relate to these girls. Ah, well, we have plenty of books here. If you want to check out what we have, I'm sure you'll find something that matches your taste. Is that so? Well, then I guess I'll head over there. Maybe something might catch my eye. I start to sweat nervously as I walk awkwardly over to the bookshelf. There looks to be a good variety of books available ranging in genre from horror and fantasy all the way down to non-fiction. Sheepishly, I turn towards... Alright, we got our first choice. Am, am I... That was a screenshot. Damn it. <laughs> I... Ah, okay. Escape opens that up. Overwrite that save, because why not? I'll use that as a baseline for potential other playthroughs. Actually, I don't, don't even think I need to do that. Actually, no, it's actually a good spot to do that. Just so we can get two different versions of the dialogue. Alright. Yuri or Natsuki? Yuri or Natsuki? I'm going to flip a coin for this one. That's a simple 2-1. Alright, so... Heads Yuri, Tails Natsuki. Tails. Going with Natsuki. Uh, so do you have any recommendations? I take a closer look at the books as I say that, and to my surprise, I notice that there's a rather extensive collection of manga on the bottom shelves. I glance back up at the girls. I notice Natsuki staring down at the manga, too. Our eyes suddenly meet, and she looks away, blushing. Well, what do you like to read, huh? Honestly, I just read manga most of the time, so the collection down there caught my eye. I didn't know, the, I didn't know that manga was allowed in the classroom like this. <laughs> Those are actually Natsuki's. Don't just say it like that! I, I put them there while I was reorganizing the closet. Monica always messes with my collection when she goes in there, so I'm trying to make more space for them. As she says this, Natsuki shoots a look at Monica, who smiles sweetly in return. Which series do you have? I read a lot, but I don't think I recognize many here. Most of the book's spines are vibrantly colored, with big, blocky letters announcing the titles. The boss is a maid, rice ball basket, 
Orange High School Nightclub. I've never heard of any of these series in my life. Okay, Orange High, S High School Nightclub. I'm pretty sure is uh, supposed to be Orange High School Host Club. <laughs> the boss is a maid. I have no idea. Rice Ball Basket. What? What? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Rice ball basket. Uh, I'm gonna see what happens when I type that into Google. Well, the first thing that comes up is an episode of Fruits Basket, so I'm gonna say that's a riff on Fruits Basket. Okay, and uh, the boss is made is li just uh, it's just a fake version of uh, Kaichowa Maid Sama, or the class president is a maid. All right, cool. Good to know. Uh, one second. Apologies once again. Let's just continue on. So yeah, that's just all uh, totally not these actual manga. Uh, manga. <laughs> you got fake manga. <laughs> but I think real, the real stuff still exists in this world too, so that's a little weird. Oh well, it is what it is. That probably means they're either way out of my demographic, or they're simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can do it through a, the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. I could tell just by your expression. But I'll tell you one thing, Baron. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. In fact... Natsuki stomps over to the bookshelf, elbowing me out of the way, and pulls a very pink book out from a box set. I'm gonna show you exactly why. She unceremoniously shoves it right into my hands. Uh, 
I stare at the cover. It's the first volume of a series titled Parfait Girls, and it features four girls in colorful attire striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly moe. Well, don't just stand there. <laughs> Natsuki, we have to consider that maybe Baron might not want to read this. Excuse me? Who are you to say that Baron likes or dislikes something? I quickly break in to try to relieve some of the sudden tension. Uh, thanks for your concern, Yuri, but I'm definitely open to trying out new things. I don't usually read this stuff, but I'm willing to give it a try. Uh, oh, alright then. Natsuki triumphantly smirks a bit while Yuri abashedly looks away. I guess I can't satisfy everyone. I'd have thought you spent enough time in the literature club to not judge books by their covers either, Yuri. Manga could have just as deep a storylines as your novels can. True. That I will say at the very least, manga can have very deep storylines. Manga, anime, light novels, visual novels, as we've seen with Katawa Shoujo. And that's just kind of like, like Katawa Shoujo is just kind of something you can start with. Just if you want to get into VNs, try this first. I never said that they can't. It's just. Yuri looks like she's holding herself back from saying something. Just what? Just because they have pictures in them? They're childish or something? Well, there's a reason why people say a picture's worth a thousand words. Sometimes, there are things that are best described through art. Manga blends both good art and good writing to create fantastic stories. Plus, being able to actually see the characters helps you to relate and emphasize with them more. Yuri looks to herself, looking a little perturbed. I... I see. I just meant that manga is... a bit unorthodox as a medium. Well, manga is literature too! It's obvious that the two girls have their differences. Yuri appears comparably more mature and timid, and seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Meanwhile, Natsuki seems to be a lot more forward and outspoken. And although she looks like the youngest in the club, she's clearly just as passionate about her hobbies as the others are. Anyway... This will be your homework today, Baron. I'll let you borrow Volume 1 for tonight so you can start on the next book tomorrow. But if you smudge or bend it, I'll kill you! Uh, being overproductive with your books, I get it. That's a bit much. Uh, you don't have to worry about much. You don't have to worry about that. I'm pretty productive with my manga, too. Is it really alright if I borrow it, though? I say that most because I really didn't plan on using my spare time to read this. Well, of course. It would take forever to finish it if you only read it here. I might fall behind on some shows if I try to get through this. But I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. Or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? Okay then. The girls on the cover of the manga beam up at me, and I can't help but shiver a bit. I guess I shouldn't underestimate what high school girls are into. Hopefully I can get away with skimming through it. 
Make sure you read it thoroughly, because I'll be quizzing you on it tomorrow. Is she a mind reader? In that case, I think I'll give it a shot now, actually. I want to make sure I have enough time to finish it, after all. Fine. But I'll be keeping a close eye on you, then. I slide into a nearby desk as the rest of the girls dissipate, moving to work on their own things. I quickly start flipping through the pages. Given that pictures take up the majority of space on the pages of the manga, it doesn't take me long to get through the beginning. As I read, I start to become more aware of Natsuki sneaking peeks in my direction. She seems intently focused on my face, as if waiting to see my reactions to her manga. I clear my throat. Ahem. Natsuki, did you need something? You seem to really like looking in my direction. I feel a smile creeping, th creeping through as Natsuki starts to furiously blush and sputters a response. Y you idiot! It's not like I was looking at you or anything. I was just staring into space. Don't you have anything better to do? <laughs> yeah, of course. With that, Natsuki huffily turns away to seek refuge in the closet, where loud rummaging soon follow sounds soon follow. I guess I should keep on reading then. As it turns out, Parfait Girls is just as I imagined it would be. It's basically about a bunch of friends in high school and the cutesy hijinks they get themselves into. Typical slice of life affair. Kinda grew out of these, since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. To its credit, it does manage to subvert some anime tropes quite neatly though. The more I read, the more I can see why it appeals to Natsuki. All that talk about appreciating the expressiveness of art? While I don't exactly read romance manga usually, the artist actually does a good job of portraying the girls as their own characters. I often find that the girls in these kind of stories are bland and unoriginal, not to mention they often suffer from same face syndrome too. So it's a pleasant surprise to find that the title characters are likable and unique in their own ways. I feel like this is a subtle uh, take on Doki Doki. All the girls do have, you know, their unique looks, faces, characters. And some early visual novels is just, here's, this, here's one face we have. Let's take one bit of hair. That's one character. Take that off, grab another hair, put that on. One second again, sorry about this.
Sorry about that. A neighbor needed help with uh, their phone. I just turned the phone on and off and it seemed to fix their problem. Oh well. At least it is fixed. I like that I've just become tech support for like everybody. <laughs> Still, over time, I can't help but grow a little bored, though. I decide I'll finish it later tonight and place the novel in my bag. Looking up, I spot Sayori reading something. Might as well see what she's up to. Standing up with a stretch, I make my way over and take a seat next to her. Hey, how's it going, Sayori? What are you reading? As I sit down, I notice she looks quite content. Nothing much. Just reading some stuff for a school project. What about you? You seem really lost in your... You seem... Uh, wow, wow. Where the hell did I get lost from? Yeah, add that to the counter. That doesn't exist yet. I'll probably make the counter and start it off at... F I don't know, 50. Yeah, that's going to be my next Nightbot command. <laughs> Easily. Yeah, yeah, how many times does Baron screw up a line? Add to the counter. I'll start it at 50, because I probably screwed up at least 50 times just from Kadawa. Nothing much. You just seem. Just reading some stuff for a school project. What about you? You seem really into your book. Oh, yeah. It was a good read, at least as far as I can tell right now. I can't help but wish I sounded a little more enthusiastic. That's great! So how are you liking the club? You're not bored, are you? She looks a little worried, her cheerful persona faltering for a moment. Where'd that question come from? It's a bit too early to tell how I really feel about the club. Uh, of course not, Sayori. Sure, I haven't been here long, but I've enjoyed meeting everyone. They've opened my eyes to new stuff. Bro, you, re you read through part of one manga, that's it. What else have they shown you? Nothing! I've never been huge on reading, but I'm confident the literature club could change that. Well, I'm glad to hear that you're involved. You don't want to join a club that you have no interest in, right? I know what you mean. I think reading will grow on me in time. Actually, do you mind if I sit with you and read? She looks at me, clearly surprised. I don't think she was expecting me to sit next to her, but nonetheless, she seems happy. Her smile is infectious, lifting my own spirits too. That would be great, Baron. <laughs> yeah, my girlish laughs are definitely not girlish. I feel like with a voice like mine attempt to go girl doing women's voices, they're all just like a creepy yandere in the end. <laughs> we read for a while, which turns into talking fairly quickly. Our conversation being a continuation of our chat from the walk to school. It's nice to just sit and talk with my childhood friend. Who would have guessed re reconnecting would be so easy? I haven't felt this content for as long as I can remember. The good mood reflects on her as well, given that she seems very uplifted and bubbly. I don't know what it is about her that makes me so... at ease. Wow, we've been talking for a bit, haven't we? Man, I didn't even realize the time. <laughs> I guess we have been talking for a while. I can see why you come to the literature club so much. There really is a welcome, at ease vibe here. Must be a nice change of pace after how hectic the school day can be. I was hoping you'd say that, Baron. It really is, and I'm grateful for the others as well. They really help make uh, 
They really help make the club the way it is. Christ, I cannot speak. I cannot speak. I cannot speak. I cannot speak. Why do I do these? I can't help but notice that Natsuki and Yuri seem to be very different, though. Do they argue much? She looks a little downcast at my question. Sometimes, yes. But thankfully, it isn't often. I can sense this is a topic she isn't a topic she likes discussing. Well, that's only normal, I guess. Monica seems like a great president, though. She must be very proud of this club. Just then, Monica gets up from the desk she was sitting at and faces the classroom confidently. Speak of the devil. Okay, everyone. I hope we're all having a good time so far. There's a good amount of silence during which everyone seems to be glancing at me. Do they want me to respond? I'm honestly having a great time. Thanks for the warm welcome, everyone. Well, it's great to hear that. And as it turns out, Natsuki baked some cupcakes for the club, too. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was just about to announce it, so let me get them. So, so let me get... Th ah, Jesus! Thank God I do this alone and not with other people. If I did this with other people, uh, I would be delaying it so much from how badly I speak. All the time. I think I read too fast. Oh, well. Let's go sit over there, Baron. Looks like there's room with those desks for all of us. I dutifully follow Sayori over to where the rest of the girls have pulled a couple desks together to form a table. How about I make some tea as well? Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room. Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray, and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling a bit awkward, I opt to take a seat next to Sayori. The conversation starts to die out. I can always rely on her to save me. Meanwhile, Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! What even is that? <laughs> a woo wow? A wow? A woo? God damn it. <laughs> wow! God damn it, that was awful. Yeah, ugh. I, God, I gotta, I gotta stop, honestly. I need to stop trying so hard. I need to try to stop. <laughs> ah, little cat cupcakes. Cat cakes. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Siori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Siori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers looking for the best angle to take a bite. There's only one angle. In your hand, you grab it. Bite. You don't need to... Hmm, which side? Hmm, yes. Uh, let's see. Which, uh... You know, where would be the most uh, moist point? Mm. <sighs> yeah. What the fuck was that? <laughs> what the hell was that? What is wrong with me? I need to stop. I need to stop. Oh my god. I just like need to really, really stop. <laughs> need to stop trying so hard. 
Natsuki's quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. If she made it all by herself, that's seriously impressive. Practically tastes professionally done to me. Then again, it's not like I have the most discerning taste palette. These cupcakes are amazing. Thank you, Natsuki. <laughs> yeah, you better thank me. This took this took hard work to do. Yeah, it really seems like it. Did you make it by yourself, or did your parents help you? Oh, wow, it's actually a spelling mistake there. Oh well. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Are you saying I couldn't have done it myself? Uh, no. It's just that it seems professionally made, so I was wondering if an actual baker helped you. I wish my dad was a baker. Just because I don't bake for money, it doesn't mean I can't be good. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, I just suck at cooking myself, so I'm wowed by good cooking. Guess I should count myself lucky that I got to try your cupcakes today, eh? Uh-huh. It's not every day I have time to bake. So be thankful! The expression on Natsuki's face practically says, Bow down before me, peasant! <laughs> Are you expecting Baron to prostrate himself before you? Looks like Monica had the same thought. Can't blame Natsuki for bragging a little, though. <laughs> I would too if I made these. Y yeah, exactly. Natsuki smiles gratefully at Sayori's save. Meanwhile, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teacher ga gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I... I guess... <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Huh? But that's not... Embarrassed, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know... Don't worry about it. I believe you. Tea and reading might not be a common pastime for me, but I can at least appreciate it. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. I'm happy that you look like you're enjoying yourself, Baron. As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Oh, that reminds me. I've actually been meaning to ask you something, Monica. How come you decided to start your own club? We could probably be board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you the leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know... To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and the publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm f then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. But I guess it must be hard to start a new club since everyone's probably settled into their own activities already. You could put it that way. 
It can be hard to get people invested in things that aren't brand new. That are brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events, like the cultural festival, that much more important. Speaking of school events, I don't think I saw your club at the s club fair at the beginning of the year. Uh, that's because I hadn't started it yet. <laughs> oh, I guess that explains why you don't have many members yet. Yeah, we missed that opportunity to draw in first years who hadn't found clubs yet. It's a lot harder to advertise on a person-to-person -person basis. And like you said, a lot of people already have other extracurriculars by now. But even so, I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're, they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. By the way, I know that everyone here likes reading, but do you guys write as well? Actually, we haven't really done any writing together, funnily enough. Do you guys just read and discuss books, then? <laughs> you could say that. Sounds more like a normal book club than a literature club. Huh. To be honest, I was kind of expecting you all to do stuff like write poetry together. At the word poetry, Natsuki jolts back a bit. Eh? Do you not like poetry, Natsuki? Wh what? Uh, I don't really have an opinion on it, I guess. Oh, really? With a sly smile, Monica gets up, rummages through her book bag, and returns with a loose notebook page in her hands. I happen to have a poem... I, ha I, happen, ah, I happen here to have a poem called... Hey! Where'd you get that? Natsuki springs up and snatches the paper out of Monica's grasp. Don't worry. I didn't steal it from your bag or anything. You dropped it on your way out the other day. I was going to return it, but I couldn't help teasing you a bit before I did that. Well, I'd appreciate if you kept your nosy nose out of my private work. <laughs> Duly noted. And sorry. I just couldn't help glancing over your poem when I picked it up. Your writing style is really cute, Natsuki. <laughs> your cupcakes? Your poems? Everything you do is just as cute as you are! Siori sidles up beside Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Hey, there's nothing to be ashamed of. So you do write your own poems, Natsuki. Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I just think that's pretty neat. Why don't you share them with the club sometime? Not if everyone's just gonna call them cute. Like Siori said, there's nothing wrong with being cute, you know. Ugh. You wouldn't get it. There's nothing worse than trying to get honest feedback from someone and just having them say, it's cute. Scorn drips from the word cute. Uh, I guess I didn't think of it that way. Yeah, no one does. It's super annoying, you know. Actually, I believe 
but I understand how Natsuki feels. Natsuki looks surprised at Yuri's sudden interjection. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. And when that's all dismissed with a single remark, well... Suffice to say, it can greatly discourage you from putting your work out there again. Sounds like both you and Natsuki have ex writing experiences in common, Yuri. <laughs> Maybe. Um, although I didn't mean to speak for Natsuki. Jeez, it's fine. Pretty much agree with what you said, so... A brief moment of silence falls upon us as we all reflect on the conversation. Hmm. This just gave me an idea, everyone. We all look quizzically at Monica, who smiles knowingly back at us. If we have members who are looking for legitimate criticism of their poetry, how about we do that here? I'm sure we can all trust each other to be respectful, and I think it'd be a fun activity for us. <laughs> um, I don't know if I feel comfortable sharing my old poetry. I d didn't write it to be read by the public, so... Y yeah, same here! That's fine. We can all just go home and write new poems to bring tomorrow. I was going to suggest that anyway, since I don't think the rest of us have poetry ready to share yet. Uh, um... That sounds awesome! I think learning about poetry would be really fun. Mm-hmm. And now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Baron? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. The Literature Club has been very welcoming so far, at least, after initial at least after initial introductions were made. Jesus Christ, that's loud. Yeah, 32.7, what I do with Kadawa, that you're going to sit there from now on. And although I'll have to start writing poems... Seems like a fair price to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Of course he's thinking with his pants. I had my doubts at first, but given how friendly and welcoming these girls are, I don't really see any reason why I shouldn't join the club. Yep, I'll be looking forward to becoming better friends with all of you. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Thank you, Monica. Yes! I'm so happy you're joining us! Siori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. H hey! And thanks for playing along. <laughs> she whispers this last remark in my ear. So she was aware that I'd never agreed to join in the beginning. That sneaky girl. Although Sayori is the most enthusiastic, all the girl's eyes are lit up in happiness. I would have been super pissed if you just left after eating my cupcakes. I'm very glad you're staying as well. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Don't forget tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can hold discussions. Monica looks over at me once more. Baron, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> the 
Yeah. Can I really impress Monica with my mediocre reading and writing skills? If it's any better than mine, you're shooing, buddy. Something tells me no. Jeez, I can already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Oh well. It's not like Monica's gonna be as harsh as an actual literature teacher, though, right? Meanwhile, the others continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Sayori. Since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? Given that she introduced me to all these amazing people, it's the least I could do for her. Sure. Let's head home. With that, the two of us wave goodbye to the others and make our way home. On the way back, we discuss the events of the day, focusing particularly on each club member. As we do, my mind wanders between all of them. Uh, between them all, whatever. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and Monica. I'm excited to hang out with everyone from now on. Perhaps I'll have a chance to grow closer with one of them? Alright. I'll just need to make most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Yeah, cute little... Yeah, so the Paul mini game is here, at least in Act One, still. Actually, hold on. Uh, gonna make that right there. And I'm gonna call the stream there, for today. That was good. Got through the first day of that. It's not bad. Not bad so far. Definitely gonna be. Uh, doing more of this, because why not? Visual novels are semi-easy to go through. Not voicing, however. I'm not bitter. <laughs> Alright, so, anyway. Tomorrow, 12 o'clock. Same time, we're going to continue with the uh, Blue Skies. We'll even be doing uh, that again Thursday. Friday is Stardew, Saturday is Katawa. So I hope everybody has themselves a good rest of their Tuesday, and I'll see you next time.